This is KAG's HD Sports. Swish, swish, and bang, bang. It's not a basketball game or gunshots. That's how two Aggie running backs describe their playing styles. But what's most important for the Texas A&M football team this season is how those styles complement each other. Juniors Brandon Williams, Trey Carson, and Trey Williams each have their own ways to contribute to this year's team that lacks a veteran quarterback. And while all three are competing for the starting spot, they say it's a mix of their styles that could help the team succeed. B. Will, he's more of a slash and dash type guy, you know. And uh, Trey Carson, he's going to give it to you, you know. And I feel like I'm just more of the, you know, quick and, you know, swish, swish, you know, type dude. So, you know, that's, that's, that's pretty much what I have. And we all have a... a, a a great amount of ability to go, so, you know, can't nobody really, I, I feel like none of the defense can stop our, our uh, abilities. Swish, swish, I don't know, I, I guess that's just, I don't know, about the, I don't know nothing about that. Describe yours then, how you describe yours? Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> but from bang, bang to banged up, it was a big day at Texans camp, mostly because of who was back on the field. Linebacker Brian Cushing returned to the active roster after starting training camp on the physically unable to perform list. Cushing finished last season on IR after tearing his LCL and fracturing his fibula. Andre Johnson and Arian Foster were also in pads today after hamstring injuries kept them sidelined the past two weeks. They say they're happy to be back on the field. I mean, obviously we're just going to ease my way back into it and I felt great. Um, it just feels good to get back out here. And, you know, like I said, just practice football, be out here with the guys and just communicate. Um, you know, obviously football is about reps and going out there, getting the look. Uh, you know, you can only do so much in the classroom, but you know, as far as getting out here, uh, getting some live action felt great. Every day, as long as I kept getting better and better, then I was willing to keep taking the steps forward. If I didn't feel good, I wouldn't. So, uh, you know, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling good. And, uh, you know, like I said, we'll just do what we need to do, work myself back in. From the gridiron to the diamond, Ron Washington and the Rangers going for their second win in game three of the four game series against the Tampa Bay Rays. Top of the first, no score until Matt Joyce takes Miles Michael as deep to right field. An absolute bomb goes into the upper deck to give the Rays the early 1 0 lead. But they didn't stop there. Bottom of the second, this time it's Sean Rodriguez. He smokes this pitch to the opposite side. A two run blast gives the Rays a 3 0 lead. As part of a four run inning, the slugfest continued as the Rays piled on two in the sixth and three in the seventh. Tampa Bay wins this one 10 to 1. Well, the Astros hosted the Twins this afternoon, searching for their 51st win. The Twins scored in the bottom of the sixth thanks to a homer from Joe Maurer. In the bottom of the eighth, Kenny Vargas smacked a two run single to give the Twins some insurance. Chris Carter singled in Jose Altuve in the eighth for the Strohs, but it was too little too late. Minnesota wins it 3 to 1. Swish, swish. Swish, swish, bang, bang. <laughs> well, they asked him there, like, you know, we know how, you know, they've heard of running back teams that are called Thunder and Lightning. Mm -hmm. He's like, so what do you call three of you? He goes, Thunder, Lightning, and Swish, swish. <laughs> <laughs> so they can't get it up. I feel like that's going to be his nickname all season long. Yeah, so. we're not going to forget that's that. Awesome. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> all right, thanks, Chris. Yeah. We'll have your last check of the forecast when we come back.